liquid nitrogen is going in that aluminum can. The white cloud that you see is not the liquid nitrogen. I'm actually pouring a liquid out. That's the liquid nitrogen. So we have liquid nitrogen in the can. There you go. You see the drops? See the drops forming right there? What is that? The can is not leaking. That's actually a really good one. I've never seen it so well. See the drops? Where could those drops be coming from? There's drops right on the outside of this. Let me show you something else. Let me spin this. Got a fire going. I'm going to try to capture some of these drops on my fire. Almost reignited. Oh, there it goes. Oh, someone's got it. So what is it about those drops that's causing this fire to get started again? These drops are liquid oxygen. There we go. We got it. See that? It caught back on fire. How is that possible? Something can catch back on fire. Where's the oxygen coming from? I poured liquid nitrogen in the can. What's the only source of the oxygen? It's not leaking through. Notice the can, it's wet on the outside. It's wet with something. You can see there's moisture on the outside of the can. It's not water, because this water would be frozen. You can see my breath freezing on there. What's the only source of the oxygen? Oh? The air. The air. We are condensing oxygen out of the air. It's not cold enough to liquefy nitrogen, because the nitrogen's always already liquefied here. Um, um, and that wouldn't work. But it is cold enough that it is liquefying the oxygen out of the air. It's condensing the oxygen. That's where it's coming from. Now we're going to try the same thing here, but with these uh, these balloons.